Oh, come on, what did you expect? I was gonna get it, wasn't I? Hello, everyone, and welcome back. I'm back with some more Korean Asian tasting. So, as you're all aware, I did order from that website, One Hong. Um, unfortunately, I've become addicted to it. <laughs> and I ordered three boxes within a week full of stuff. So I now have a massive haul of Asian snacks to taste test for you today. And I say Asian because most of them are Korean, but some of them are actually Japanese because I wanted to try them. Now I know this is supposed to be a Korean food adventure, a Korean adventure, cultural experience, what have you, but I wanted to try these Japanese things. I've got a few things to show you that I'm not gonna be tasting today that I have ordered that I haven't showed you before. This packet of ramen actually came in the second box and I'd already ordered the second box by the time that I tried the first ramen, which was incredibly, incredibly spicy. Now I am scared to try this one that explicitly says super spicy on the packet. And there's also this one, which looks a lot nicer because it's not spicy at all. It's just chicken flavored. I believe these two are both Japanese. The, the writing looks Japanese, so I'm guessing it's Japanese. This, I, I bought two jars of kimchi. I have tried kimchi before and it was very nice. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna find a recipe for kimchi fried rice and make that over my new stove that you saw the other day. And then the last thing I'm not gonna try is this. Now, in my previous video, I made some tteokbokki and that went really well. Um, I probably didn't do it right, but it tasted nice. Um, but I didn't make the super spicy version, I just made the spicy version. But I did buy some of this, which is an instant topoki. And this is the hot chicken flavor that was also the flavor of that ramen that nearly killed me. So I'm excited to taste instant topoki, but not excited for the flavor. So these two things, they're called high chews, and I believe that it's quite a popular brand of sweet, I want to say sweets, in Japan. So let's give them a taste. I've ordered two flavours, because they only had two flavours, strawberry and peach. This is the strawberry flavour. Can you see that? No, not focusing, not focusing, no. See, the problem is it's tracking my face and it won't focus on anything else. Mmm. Mmm. And as the name suggests, it is very chewy. Mm. I'm really sorry, you can probably hear all these sounds. I'm grossing myself out. Peach is quite a big thing over in Asia, isn't it? A lot of their things are peach flavoured. Not like sweet things. We don't have a lot of peach things here. I'm, I'm partial to a nice peach. A slightly more pink than the strawberry. It smells very artificial though. I don't know what I was expecting, <laughs> but it's pink. These are something which I've forgotten. Okay, I've totally forgotten what these are because I ordered them a week ago, but they're strawberry flavored things, but there's a cow on the front. Isn't that really cute? Is it in focus? I don't know. There's a cow on the front. So you open it like this. Oh my god, they're coming individual little packets. I don't know, I still don't know what they are though. Oh, weird. Looks like, it looks like some like cotton candy that's been um, squished down to form a hard ball of sugar. It's supposed to be strawberry flavoured, but let's see what it is. 
Ah, it's a milk chew. I remember it now, it's a milk chew. And that's why there's a count of them. And it really does taste like milk. With strawberry. Only a hint of strawberry, it's not very strong, the strawberry flavour. Who remembers my video of me attempting to make mochi or mochi or whatever you're having? And it is a sticky glutinous rice cake that is filled with a filling. Either like red bean paste or summer. But it did not go well. I used lotus seed paste in the middle of mine and it did not go well. I don't know if I've still got the clips of that, but if I have, here, here is my experience. They still smell vile, so that's good. So let's taste it. Still chewing. <laughs> I don't know what I did, but I don't think I did it right. So now I've ordered a variety of different flavours of mochi. And here are the three, I would say traditional styles. Now this is again Japanese, I believe. But it does say it's made in Taiwan. We have matcha mochi, milk mochi and red bean mochi. Or mochi. I don't hate mochi. Help if I can get into it. Oh, how helpful! Look, it's got a little tab here. Okay, so we've got matcha. Oh, they're tiny. Red bean milk. I've never had matcha before, but I don't like tea or anything tea flavoured. So I'm going to guess those. And I'm not going to like this. Now, I'll first um feel of it, it does actually feel quite a lot like the one I made. I don't think I actually did it a lot wrong, I just think I perhaps cooked it for too long and um, because it mine did not feel this soft. So it smells of nothing but then again mine didn't smell of anything actually it did, it didn't smell very nice and mine didn't taste of anything really either. So let's give this a taste. I don't know what's in the middle though, what's in the middle? What's in the middle? Doesn't say what's in the middle. Ah, this one is also, this one has got a red bean filling as well. The actual mochi is the uh, matcha flavour. Let's try it. Yeah, mine wasn't this soft. Mine was rubbery and chewy. This is soft and delicate, so. I did something wrong. Okay, I don't hate it. In fact, no, I don't like it. <laughs> I really do not like matcha or tea in general. Um, at all. And the red bean paste, I'm just, I don't hate it, but it's just like, yeah. <laughs> so um, we'll just put that to one side. Now let's try the actual red bean one. Let's let's see if the matcha makes a difference here. This one smells like nuts. Oh, this has a rather big glob of red bean paste here. This one is just white, like mine was supposed to be, and it smells overwhelmingly like um, nuts. But we're going to try it anyway, so let's try it. This texture of rice cake, it's very difficult to get used to because it's, it's like extremely chewy but not rubbery. But it's because we've never had it over here. It's really weird. It's really hard to get used to. 
I don't hate it, but because there's no flavour, I'm finding, it's not, I can't find the right words. There is no flavour to the rice cake. It's, do it's just in something, I forgot what it was. The red bean paste is nice, it's nutty, it's not my favourite thing in the world. Overall, it's alright, but um, there's a few other flavours here that I think I'm going to like better. Mm. Right, the last one in this package is milk. I like milk. This is slightly yellow in colour. And the filling, actually, the filling is hard. It feels like there's a big chewy thing inside there. So, it smells like milk. Well, it actually, it smells like those strawberry things. Again, what is that flavour? That's not milk. What is that flavour? Really difficult to describe the taste. I've already described the texture. It's the same texture as the two. But the taste of that is like cream almost. It's not really vanilla. It tastes like condensed milk. I think that's what the filling was because it was very hard. When you bit into it, it was soft, but it was very hard to touch. Cool. So I'm gonna stop now for a beverage. And do you remember those tiny little grape juices? Well, I found some pear ones. <laughs> now, in the grape juice can, there was bits of whole skinless grapes which um, surprised me, but I eventually learnt to overcome because I'm not a huge fan of bits in drink. Like I don't like pulp in orange juice. I don't like freshly squeezed orange juice actually. Uh, so I'm not sure if they would put um, like bits of pear in here, but I like pear, so it's fine. Um, it's got pear puree, water sugar, artificial pear flavor, blah, blah, blah. blah. It's a soft drink, and um, again, there's braille on the top. Very nice. If I can open the freaking can. Open the can, Jesus Christ. I can't open the can. Never do this. <laughs> Ow, that's why I should never do that. Here we go. Cool, cool, cool. Smells like pear. <laughs> I have tried Asian pears before and they're very, very different to, like we usually just have conference pears in this country, but the Asian pears are quite more juicier, I'd say. Let's try it. Mmm, mmm. Very, there is bits in there. I'll learn to live with that. Um, it's very subtle flavour, not too strong of pear. And again, I wouldn't describe it as a soda or a fizzy drink. It's juice. That's what it is. It's very refreshing. Well, they also sent me these things. Because obviously I ordered around the time of Chinese New Year. And um, it was an Asian website that I ordered it from. Actually, it wasn't an Asian website. It was a company based in this country. But... Um, they sent me these things, which um, after hours of research, we finally learned was you put money in it to give to people on New Year's, on the Lunar New Year. It's not something I personally would do. <laughs> um, but I had like, they sent me like a 50 million of them and I'm just like, you think I have that many friends? And also you must think I'm Chinese because I'm ordering so many things. <laughs> okay, let's crack on. I now want to taste the rest of the mochi. I ordered three more different flavours of mochi and they're all fruit flavoured. So we're going to start with this. This is mango. 
Again, I think this is Japanese. When I said that most of it's Korean and some of it's Japanese, I think that was supposed to be the other way around. Most of it was Japanese <laughs> and some of it's Korean. So, oh, they're tiny again. Oh, I love this packaging. And again, why is the packaging in Japan so clever? They're giving you a little notch. Like, we don't get that over here. And even when we do get that, it doesn't work. This is a, a tiny one. It has cute little characters on the packaging. Already I can smell the man. It smells a bit weird, actually. <laughs> it does smell like mango, but like it smells like something else as well. Right, again, this is very squishy, very nicely. It just feels really nice. Like, I would lie on this if there was a massive one. Right, let's taste it. So this is mango mochi. Mmm. Now this one, I like. Because the others were gross. <laughs> this one has a, like, fruit pureed mango-y jelly in the same center and it actually goes really nicely with the kind of like jelly that is the mochi mm. that's really nice strawberry Once again, I've been an idiot and didn't read the packaging, mainly because I can't read the packaging, but also they've given us perforation, so all we have to do is um, this, instead of actually opening the tub like I did on the last one, you just do that. So. Oh, hang on, no, I can't. <laughs> Take the whole tray out of the packaging and then you slot it back in. I know you can't say this. Oh, you can. You slot it back in. Close that. And then you can just open this. So then you've got ready to go mochi whenever you want. So this one's strawberry flavoured. This very heavily smells of strawberry. So I'm excited. That's really nice. Again, it's like a jelly in the middle. Can you see? I don't know why I do that hand thing. I just see other people do it and it seems to like focus. Very, oh. I think this is like actually made of pureed strawberries because there's seeds in there. We have. It takes a long time to eat. <laughs> We have grape flavour. I'm very looking forward to this flavour because I love grape things. Grape is one of my top flavours. Now, I've only literally opened the box and I am overwhelmingly hit with grape. So I'm excited. It's very, very... That is an incredibly strong grape flavour. It's not really like, it, I think it is supposed to be artificial grape. Is it supposed to be artificial grape? Because it smells like artificial grape flavour. Let's try it. This is my favourite. <laughs> But I didn't doubt that it wouldn't be my favourite because I freaking love grape. Hello, camera cut me off again. <laughs> so, I don't know where I just ended off. I know I definitely caught the grape because I saw I'm looking at my viewfinder when I shouldn't be looking at my viewfinder. So I definitely got the grape. So, we're going to move on. This is the last but one snack to taste test. And this is the one I'm most excited about because it looks freaking Delicious. These are Orion Choco Pies. You 
can see the ring light, look. It's a ring light. These are, how do I do this without getting, these are Orion Choco Pies. Um, I don't actually know if these are like Korean or anything, or Japanese, I'm just gonna quickly Google it. So they actually originated in the United States. Okay, let's just, okay, the gist is, they were American to start with, then they moved and became popular in Japan and in Korea as well. And now they're just like a staple thing in Korea and Japan. Anyway, don't quote me on that. <laughs> so let's give them a taste. I think the filling is marshmallow. It's like two little like chocolate biscuity cakey things with marshmallow in the middle covered in chocolate. I think. <laughs> Where are the ingredients? Any Great Britain ingredients? Anyone? Any ingredients for Great Britain? Any ingredients for Great Britain? Okay. Pastry filled with souffle in cocoa fat glaze. That is the description on the box. And I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't give you away, it doesn't give away anything. <laughs> so, let's try it. Ooh. It's very thick, very, very thick. It smells nice and chocolatey. I'm salivating right now. This is what it looks like if you can't see it. I should have ordered two boxes. Okay, let's try it. Whoa. What is that? That's really nice. That would go really nice with, like I don't drink tea, but like a nice cup of tea or coffee. Whoa, that's addictive. No. Mm -hmm. I believe the filling is marshmallow. But it's got a white food. So I believe it's like a whoopie, not a whoopie pie. It's like um okay, like almost like a tea cake. We have tea cakes over here, which is like a biscuit base, sometimes with jam in the middle, filled with um with what, what do you call it? Marshmallow whipped marshmallow on top, and then it's coated in chocolate. It's just basically like that, but just like two biscuit cake. Uh, I don't know what to call them because they're like half biscuit, half cake things with marshmallow sandwich between them covered in chocolate and honestly I'm living for it. Wow, well, these are gonna be gone by the end of the day. <laughs> Time for another beverage. And I'm very excited for this one because this one is not a tiny can like the other two. This one is a big one and it is watermelon soda. Watermelon is another one of my top flavours. For anyone interested, it's great watermelon and blue raspberry. But, um, I'm very excited for this. Now, in the, in the UK, we recently brought out something called um, a LucasAid strawberry and watermelon cooler. And I'm addicted to those because they're delicious. And they're an energy drink, so you're gonna get addicted to them. Um, but we've never actually had, pro we don't usually have watermelon flavoured things aside from that and like the odd watermelon flavoured sweet. But other than that, watermelon is not a massive flavour here and a lot of people don't actually like it. But I love it. And I've also realised I've been looking at the viewfinder for the last 70 minutes. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to try the watermelon flavoured um, drink and this is Korean, I believe. Actually, is it? Well, the writing on the back looks Korean. I'm gonna say it's Korean. Anyway, if it's not, just yell at me in the comments. Smells, it doesn't smell artificial. It smells like actual watermelon. That's quite nice. The watermelon flavor in our energy drink, Lucasaid, is artificial. Um because it's blatantly obviously artificial. This is not. This is a soda pop fizzy drink that is 
an actual watermelon flavour. And the watermelon flavour is a lot duller than artificial watermelon flavour and that's the black roller. Not unpleasant, quite nice, a tad bitter at the end. Nice. The thing I'm trying next is another spicy thing <laughs> and um, it's the only non-sweet snack I was managed to find on the website. This is Korean. It's by a company called Cosmos or Cosmas or Cosmos or Cosmas, I don't know. There are hearts where the vowels should be and I don't know whether they're A's or O's. Just, there you go. Okay, so this is a Tokboki crisp or chip if you want to be American. Now I'm expecting this to be very spicy. So I don't know whether these are like made with rice cakes or what. So there is gochujang in this. There is rice grits, whatever that is. But I don't know whether it's actually made from rice or not. Can we see if we can find out? No, no, I'm just not eating. They look alarming like, we have a snack in this country called wheat crunchies, which are divine. And they look like that. They, they look incredibly spicy. Let's see what they taste like then. That was not what I was expecting at all. Okay, so they're not really spicy. They're in fact no spice whatsoever. <laughs> if anything, it tastes sweet. Like a very sweet. Almost like that it's not supposed to be savory. Which is, I'm being really confused. Like it's nice. And I think that what it's made of is actually wheat. Like they're, they're the same thing that the wheat crunches are made of. Um, not rice cakes, but. Can you see it? But I'm just really perplexed that it tastes so sweet. It's almost like that the sauce or glaze has made this, the outside like sticky and sweet. It's nice, I will definitely eat them all. So that was my little Asian snack taste test. Mostly mochi um, and mostly Japanese stuff, but I thoroughly enjoyed that. And I probably will be visiting the website sometime in the near future because my family keep getting annoyed because I keep having massive boxes of stuff delivered to the house. I've got nowhere to put them. <laughs> I'm gonna go now because um, I'm gonna finish this choco pie off because I am now addicted to it. <laughs> Goodbye. <Stay mad. laughs> Bye.